Welcome back to the latest episode of the Laura and Becky Show, and it's season 12, baby. We're here. Uh, so you know the drill by here now. Here we are. Here we We're are. Here. here we be. Me and thee. Back again, like the renegade master. No, I don't know what I'm saying. That's a great song. That is a great song. Um, anywho, uh, we were on the radio together. We got the sack, so we took off to Mallorca and uh, drank lots of pale rosé and a little bit of limoncello. And we thought, you know what, we're going to start a podcast. Talking of that, you've seen the state of Mallorca this weekend. Uh, have you seen anything this weekend? No. They have had the worst storm. Oh, I have seen something about oh it. Oh my God. Yes. People like blowing around the place. Yeah, well, thank goodness Nightmare. we weren't in Mallorca this yeah. weekend. Imagine if we had gone and it was like that. Oh my God, don't. <laughs> don't, that'd be like, awful. That, do you know what? There's nothing worse, is there, than going on oh, holiday, okay. on a sunny holiday, and you get there and the weather's awful. <gasps> you feel like you've been had. I've put this in our group, actually, because I've been looking at uh, weather in mobs, right, for the yeah. next few days. So you go on Thursday, don't you? And I think what people do is they look on their Apple. If you've got an, if you've got an Apple phone, you'll go on your Apple weather, right? And if the weather doesn't look great, you'll be like, nah, go to Met Office. And yeah, you yeah. check Met Office. And then if that's not right, you'll be like, BBC. And then you go, it'll change it'll be by fine, the time yeah. I get there. Yeah, it'll change anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm looking, matter. I'm looking too yeah. far in advance. Yeah, it'll be all different when I get there. Yeah, and when <laughs> I get there, you're on holiday, like back here. You, you do, st- you justify yeah. the hell out of crap weather on holiday. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Do you know what? I, I'm going to say this, right? I don't mind if you're on holiday for a good while i don't mind one stormy day because you know when it's it's really hot i don't mind one day but any more than that it's annoying and i want my money back it's annoying it's anyway bad. um we are sponsored by red brick estate agents and prince family law oh we've got a new sponsor straight away i'm gonna say what's the difference oh god here we go go on between a solicitor and a lawyer do you know what I don't know. Oh, I thought you were going to be like, do you no, know what? No, I actually know the answer to this. Do you know what? I have been through so many legal things involving solicitors and lawyers. I should know. I've also got a friend who is a... Now, is she a lawyer or a solicitor? Oh, God. I don't oh, actually I do know. know what I bet. But you, any money, if you call a lawyer a solicitor, they hate it. But what's the difference? I, I, what we're going to get in trouble. We should be... So, we might have to beat this out. We... We will right. find out. Do fact, lawyers, have, we, have we got any lawyers or solicitors who listen? Can they well, tell we've us We've got the a difference? sponsor, babe. Well, yeah, but we don't ask them, do we? are going to hear yeah. this. <laughs> Come on, somebody help us out. Surely lawyers are to do with law and solicitors are to do with soliciting. But no? solicitors deal with law, don't they? Oh, solicitors deal with divorce God. as well, don't they? This is Stop confusing. It. But you know what? This is We're going to delve deeper into this on this we're gonna season. Delve we're going to delve deeper into, into divorce. We are divorce, separation, because I'm... I'm going to say this, right? Oh, and this might be a little bit controversial. D-I-V-O-R-C-E. <laughs> I actually think a lot oh, of our listeners no. who are listening right now are in Happily long married. Term... <laughs> no, I don't think many of them are. I'm going to put it out there. I think there's going to be people listening who've been in long-term relationships and who are married, maybe not even long-term, maybe just a couple of years, but they're getting to that age and that stage in their life where they're thinking... Is this it? D I V O R C E. <laughs> is that how you spell it? Yeah, I, I think a lot of people are contemplating divorce. I'm just going to say it. Oh, God. Yeah, I do. Oh, God. Yeah. So actually, I think it's really good that we've got a divorce. Well, I've been separated after 10 years. You got divorced after 18 years. Yeah. You know, plenty of background history. Mm-hmm. And we'll see where this takes us, shall we? We speak to a lot of girls when we get a lot of messages from people, don't we? How do I get are... divorced? Yeah. How and did you do it? <laughs> do you know what? I remember I went to this party. <laughs> Once it was a kid's party, right? And I'm not going to say who it is because she listens. And she's probably going to be mortified that I'm saying this, but nobody else will know who she is, okay? So I went to this kid's party and I could tell that this one woman there wanted to speak to me. I didn't know what about, but I could tell. And I was going to leave Lily from the, at the party and go. Anyway, I thought, I'll just uh, hang around for a minute, perhaps go to the buffet, see what's there. So I got a little buffet plate, sat down. This lady came and sat next to me. And she went, there was a bit of small talk, and then she went... How did you uh, pluck up the courage to leave your husband? <laughs> God. And it came out straight away. And then we had the, the rest of the party talking about basically how Actually to leave divorced. your husband. Oh, God. Yeah. I do remember when I left my, wasn't husband, partner for a long while. Um, I, I think I, I was the catalyst for oh. that, that year of that primary school. They all came out. Well, I think when one goes, they the all go. Follow. And it kind of inspires people, doesn't it? Because they, they think, hang on a minute, if she can do it, I can, I can do, do it. it. Yeah. Well, look forward to season 12, guys, <laughs> if you're out there. 
D I V O R C E. <laughs> there we go. Oh, also, we're sponsored God. by Redbrick Estate Agents, <laughs> and uh, we've both bought houses, so we can relate to that too. We can. So, if you want any, uh, you know, house advice. We're yes, here. They're, well, not us. They're, they're there. Red Brick. Um, we're also going to get Thea and Ross in, aren't we? Because they they're getting married are getting married in season 12. This is exciting. This is exciting. Yeah. I think we should maybe just hide somewhere near their wedding day, do our pod and be like, there she is. It should be. She's coming oh, out the car. I can see oh her. It'll be like the royal wedding. We'll be there, like oh correspondence gosh, yes. on the green. Like, Take our we, banner. Yeah, we can't get too close. We'll be on the outskirts being like, here she is. She's arriving. Oh, we can't see the dress because it's all hidden. Uh, us talking about divorce. Now we're talking about Thea getting married. You'll be One fine, love. The other. You'll be fine, guys. <laughs> I give it a year. You're made for each other. <laughs> They'll be us, like, with our banner at the end of the aisle. She'll walk down. We'll be like, hiya. Just thought we'd put our banner up. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. We're also in collaboration with East Midlands Airport. Um, and this takes us straight on to what I want to talk about. Yeah, now this is all kind of passed me by, I'm not going to lie. Well, we're going to do this and what's going on, but I just want to quickly talk about me dropping off my daughter on... What day was it? Saturday Becky? morning? Saturday morning, yeah. yes. Um, I felt a bit funny about dropping her off, but because it was East Midlands Airport, I was like, if I had a drop drop at Manchester, I think I'd have had a nervous breakdown. Yeah, but because it was East Mids, I trust it's it. a home from home. I trust it. Mm-hmm. I was like, you guys are going to be great. It was rammed, mate. Was it? Oh, Actually, my God. Johan has said to us before that early morning is the busiest time there. I've never seen so many people there in my life. Um, so I thought, they're going to have fun in there. Anyway, she literally, I thought, if if my... So I dropped her off. And as I drove off, have you ever seen that clip of The Rock when he was in um, that film... Oh, Jumanji, when he like, t- like it's the rock, but he's someone else and he hasn't got to cry. So he's like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Have you ever seen that clip? No. It's like a meme everywhere. And that was me. As I drove off, I was like, do not cry. Do not cry. Literally, do not cry. And I didn't. Wait. I didn't cry. Well I done. Didn't cry. I was well so proud done. of myself. <laughs> and then I thought, if I don't get a phone call from her within 15 minutes, they're fine. Yeah. Yeah. So they're pootling like towards the M1. Phone rings. I thought, Stop. oh, no. Yeah. And what was so it? So I picked up. I was like, you're right. And literally eight minutes. Hadn't dropped them off. And she went, we're through. And I went, stop. How did they get through? Becky? We don't even get through that quick. They got through straight away. She went, there was no queue. Did our self-check-in. Walked straight through security. She went, they were really nice. And we were like, we know they are. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. She was actually spritzing Jo Malone as she rang me. That is I never got to the end. That's the one. quickest get through ever. Yeah. Yeah. And so then, is she all right? Is, she's on holiday at the moment. She's having a great time. Aww. She is knee deep in sangria. That I've never seen. I mean, honestly. <laughs> Has she puked up in the no, um, villa? No, not done that. That's no, good. No, yeah, okay. that's all good. Yep, tick. Um, <laughs> tick. Um, yeah, she's just, she's drinking though. <laughs> she's her mother's daughter. She's texting me like all pictures of her pale rose. Like, is this pale enough? Is this pale enough? Oh, has she? Like, oh, that bless is pale her. enough. Yeah. And also she's tagging. So where where it is, it's lovely. And there's like a beach bar at the top. So they've got their own Instagram account. So of course, Grace is all over it, like yeah. filming on. So all their Instagram is my is daughter's Grace. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I girl. love it. Well, do you know what? We need to talk a little bit more about this, don't we, in the mate? Because obviously Grace is away. Yes. But there's more to this and we'll talk about this <sighs> in today's together. mate. <laughs> okay. So um, this season, we've talked that it's going to be um, a lot of... <laughs> Well, no, actually, it's not going to be a lot about divorce. No, it's we, not. I think it's no. kind of, we're not going to be the opposite, but your situation is the opposite. It is. Well, we are going to be talking a little bit about divorce and separation, obviously, but we're also going to be talking about my love life. Yes. Because things Take are a turn. changing. So obviously, last few seasons, it's been about my dating life, blah, blah, blah. Um... And now I've got myself a boyfriend. She's got herself a boyfriend. So, I mean, some people thought they'd never see the day. I think <laughs> if you listen really closely, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Yep, you can hear all the men unsubscribing from our podcast. I kid you not. Bing, some, bong, somebody bong, bong. messaged me over the weekend going, right, that's 50% of your podcast listeners going. Yeah, literally. I was like, oh, thanks yeah. very much. Yeah. Um, um, but you yes. know what? Things have got to change, guys. Things can't stay the same, all right? Things are always changing. Things have to evolve. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It does feel a little bit Your weird. Your Instagram following gone down. <laughs> yeah, literally lost half my followers on that. <laughs> but you know what? 
It's got to happen. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Are you going to take put your blue ticks back on WhatsApp? Um, no, I haven't done. I haven't done that, but I have. I don't know if you've noticed this. It now does say when I'm online. Oh, I've not noticed that. So the, obviously the reason being, if you're chatting to a few guys, right, you don't want them to see when you're online yeah. talking to other guys. Yeah. Um, I mean, this could go for anyone. This could go for friends. This could, this could go for work, colleagues. It's just quite nice being incognito and going a bit dark. So I've had that off for ages. So you cannot see when I'm online. If I read your messages, you cannot see anything. No. Um, but yes, I have put that back on. Right. So you can um, see when you're online. You can see when I'm online. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have to say, it, it does feel a little bit weird saying boyfriend. Yeah. I've been so used to being on my own, yeah. being single, that saying the word boyfriend is a little bit weird. And also he's not a boy. So really he's like a man he's friend. He's a man. <laughs> but you don't want to say man friend because it doesn't no. sound right, does it? Like, oh, this is my new man friend. Like, what? Well, that makes it sound like we're just like... Yeah, he's, friend. Yeah, he's what my acquaintance. I don't know. It's very... I think older women maybe say it, do they? Yeah. Um, but, I mean, we're going to save most of this for Friday. Um, but there's some really good stuff to come because... Um, it's to do with his job, yeah. isn't it, basically? Yeah. And we're going to go back to when I met him and how we first started talking because that is a good story in itself. Yeah. We're going to talk about <laughs> one of the first dates I ever had with him, which is a great story. Yeah. Um, and we're going to get him on the pod, basically. He's coming on. He can't not. I mean, I've yeah. met him once for about half an hour. Yeah. Um. And he need, you know, I've not asked him any questions. I've not vetted no. the man. So that's what we're going to do. That is what but we're But there's a do. twist to it. There, There is a twist and quite a big twist. And I think this is all going to become clear on Friday's pod. So Fridays, obviously, you have to be a little feral to listen. So guys, if you want to know more about him, and it is going to be good, you need to go and subscribe. Okay. You know what to do. Okay, what is, is that it? Oh, actually, just really quickly, um, we're going to the Badger tonight. It's finally we happening, are. guys. First day of season 12 tonight. We are going to be there. We're meeting Mr. Mattress there. Emails have gone back and forth today. He's getting the train over and well, he's, he's meeting us. London. Yeah. Why is he I in London? I don't, I don't know. We'll have to ask him tonight. But I think we're going to delve into Mr. Mattress's dating mm. life. I mean, I can't do mine anymore. No, so we're going so to we're Mr. We're going to go to someone else. We're yeah. going to chat to him with a shandy and some pork scratchings in the Badger. I mean, saying that, if you've got any dating stories, we can now we can now yes. spread this out because we've done yours. Yours are yeah. done. Mm -hmm. So let us know some good dating stories. We'd love them. Do you know what? I would, would love, love that. them. And actually, we do know that some of our listeners have got some great ones. Yes. So yeah, 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 guys, yes. send them in. Um, how can I send them in? <laughs> email. Uh, email the Lauren Becky Show at gmail.com. Yeah, do it, guys. Do it. Do it. Is that it? Is that it? That's it. Okay. <laughs> right, what's going on in the world? Um, everyone knows about this air traffic control apart from you. Apart from me. I don't know how you've missed that. <laughs> um, it, I, it, it puts the fear of God into me having a holiday booked and then getting to an airport and it being cancelled. Have you ever had it before? No. No, I don't think I have either. No. I would be gutted. Especially if you had kids or maybe you were flying to a wedding. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and this week as well, it's like the last week of the school summer holidays. So people are having their last minute holidays. This is like the last chance. Yeah. And obviously we know a lot about airports. I mean, well, we, we, could, <laughs> we, know, we, we know, know a little run, bit. We, we know we're, we're, in, we're in there. We know how to run it. Security, departures, the lot, right? We've got people I mean, in the know as well. Yes. So as soon as I read about this yesterday and saw these like awful stories, I was like, I know who I need to speak to. Because, of course, we've got, we've got people in high places. <laughs> so Paul, um, who is the most one of the most fantastic people we've ever met. So Paul K. We love Paul. Um, basically, Paul built the air traffic control tower at East Mids, brick by brick. <laughs> is that, that's not true. <laughs> what <laughs> and then when it was uh, erected he then ran it yeah <laughs> like the boss man he is he is the nicest he is definitely the kind of bloke you would want to run a air traffic control tower yeah yeah and he's also the kind of person you'd want to your dad yeah he's, he's gonna just he's authoritative yes but lovely yeah <laughs> isn't he <laughs> he's just so nice so anyway i messaged him and i was like they called you in because he's obviously we, we want it in the goss yeah i want to, yeah because it's so interesting so um he's obviously left that role and he now trains people to become well, he's got, air traffic yeah controllers. he's got a bigger role now yeah, isn't he he's like a big wig yeah yeah he, yeah yeah he's a big wig big wig so i messaged him shall i read them because i think people will be fascinated i Do wanted it. to know what was going on 
So I messaged him, and I thought, maybe they've called him in, because who wouldn't want him yeah. sorting it out? Well, he's like the main man, isn't he? Right, so I put, just reading about delays today, Paul. Did they call you in to sort it all out? And I put a little superhero <laughs> emoji. <laughs> and he put, thankfully not. Uh, no phone calls whatsoever. And he's oh. put a little, like, yay kind of thing. Because yeah. obviously that would be really stressful. So I said, I bet it was stressful up that tower today. And he put just a bit frustrating, I imagine. I think the terminal will have been the worst. Poor passengers just stuck there. Oh, I, God. My friend's daughter was on a plane for 11 hours on the tarmac. Honestly, that is insanity. I would be having heart palpitations if yeah. I was stuck on a plane for that long. So he said, he said, I think that the main flight plan system went down. So you lose all... Hang on, the what? The main flight plan system went down. Right. So you lose all the information on every flight <gasps> in and out. You would not want to be flying yesterday. We've been up that control tower and they are cool as cucumbers. Yeah, they're on it. They're on it. Can you imagine? Stop. Could you imagine? So how did they, what did they have to do then? I don't know, because it was quite late and I did think, God, I messaged him at like yeah. half ten at night. <laughs> oh, Sorry, Paul. God. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. I bet Paul's like, I've had a really yeah. nice quiet today. <laughs> oh, right, no, Laura's on. Yep, Laura's badgering me oh, about all this stuff. Oh, all right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody from the control tower has a message, but Laura's messaging me. <laughs> <laughs> I just find it fascinating. God, I Mate, tell you people what, are stranded left, right and centre. Oh, I, I would be so stressed. Oh, I'd be so well, upset. Actually, no, no. So, oh, no, don't say it. Don't, no, no, whatever no. you're about to say, no, 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 don't I'm, say. I'm actually not going to say it. Um, oh, I know what you were going to say. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so I've got an early flight Thursday morning from East Mids. Yeah. So I'm just keeping my little fingers and toes crossed. I think by then it'll be fine, won't it? So what is it now? Tuesday. Well, I think if you'll be cancel right. flights, I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. I, can't, I don't you... cope well with, with stuff like this, do I? I don't like queuing. No. I just, I just, no. I reckon it'll be back to normal by then. Well, well, I, I might, might just Paul. Again and ask him. <laughs> I might yeah. ask Paul on Thursday morning to just go back to work just for a couple of hours and just make sure that I get up in the yeah. air. Just message him your flight yeah. details and be like, Paul, yeah. can you just make sure of all of the flights that this one I might takes off? Actually, message him now and be like, Thursday morning, what are you up to? Yeah, love? do it. Well, he'll be listening to this today, so I bet you get, you'll get a message oh, from him later, yeah. being like, Laura, your flight is going to be Put fine. Put a phone call in, Paul, and make sure I let you know the flight number. I mean, I've me messaged Joanne; he sorted out my parking. Oh, <laughs> I just bless need, him. Just need Paul to sort out my. Yeah. actual air travel yep be fine yes. it's who you know isn't it in it's it who just you know <laughs> poor old poor i bet he's literally like oh, i dread the day i gave them my don't number don't say that he <laughs> but loves it he loves oh, it oh god he also put really looking forward to the 15th with a little oh, chinky yes. glass yes so we are seeing him <laughs> we're going to his we? house i cannot wait we're having a lemon cello night this is almost going to be like the sort of like final summer party i think of the summer isn't it do you know what I mean? Yeah, what summer? I cannot wait. I cannot wait. We're That's looking forward good. to seeing you, Paul. We are. And the rest so, of the family. And everyone else. Mate. Oh, God. I feel like I'm on the edge. At the Do moment. you actually? A little bit. But I think because oh, no. I'm aware I'm on the edge. <laughs> yeah. I'm stepping back from the edge. Well, this is good. But something could push me over the edge. Or you could just decide to jump over the edge. <laughs> yeah. You might go, Do you know what? Yeah. I'm going over today. I keep finding myself going, yeah, okay. You're, you're fine. Stop, right, just get up and do something. That's what I keep telling myself in my mind because at the moment, my nest is empty. I was going to say that. Do you think you've got empty nest syndrome? So my nest, I've realised, I need it to be back full again. Yeah, okay? you need those chicks in there, don't yeah, you? Yeah, my chicks aren't in my nest at the moment and I want to be that bird with all the feathers like... And feeding them worms in their yeah. mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to be over the nest. Yeah. yeah. And at the moment, I feel like I'm not and the, the eggs of... They've gone. Gone, yeah. So basically, I've got one daughter in Marbella. She's having a great time. And then I've got my other daughter who's now gone off with her grandparents for a little holiday. Yeah. And then I'm flying away on Thursday to meet my eldest daughter. Then obviously I'm leaving. They're just too spread out. I don't yeah. like it. I don't like it. So I've decided that my kids are never going to move <laughs> out of the house. So Grace is in Marbella at the moment. Mm -hmm. You're going over to meet her, aren't you? Yeah, but so she's only there for two days and then she's flying yeah. back, which I'm not happy about. <laughs> Laura is panicking about this. Well, you FaceTimed her, didn't you, yeah. um, the other day and went, Grace, you're not allowed to move out, okay? No. What we'll do, we'll buy a bigger house that your husband, your future husband can move in, all of your children, all the kids. everyone can just move in and say, nobody has to leave, yeah. okay? Small holdings. You know, like, there's no hand, but I'm sure there is actually, but I haven't found it. I haven't even looked. But there's nothing, no one prepares you 
I like teenagers are like, oh, teenagers are a nightmare. But no one prepares you for when they get past that teenager bit and they actually get quite nice and then they leave. And, and I, then I, they go. They ain't leaving. But Grace isn't going, is she? No, she's not leaving. She's not saying she's, she's moving not going out. To. No, <laughs> it's not it's an option. The law. It is literally not an option. Well, let's delve a little bit deeper into the reasons for this. Yeah. You have got the fear of you and your husband being well, alone, haven't you? just two of us, for God's sake. What are we going to do? What are you going to talk about? Don't know. I literally... So when we go on holiday, um, Grace and her boyfriend fly home on Saturday and then we, I have a week. <laughs> a week, okay? So I'm taking my paddleboard with me <laughs> and <laughs> I'm just going to paddleboard up right. and down the Costa del Sol. Can you just give us the list of everything you're taking and that you've planned so that you don't just have to... I've got four books. books. Four books. <laughs> And one of them massive, by the way. That's like two books. You're so going to go to the gym. That There's a gym there. So I'm going to go to the gym. And then I thought I'm going to befriend anyone. <laughs> it's going so to start at the airport. Yeah, if you're on Laura's flight out, yeah. watch out. Because she's going to be like, guys, uh, quick yeah. announcement. Quick announcement. Let me just take that a minute. Anybody <laughs> want to be my friend for the holiday? Would anybody like to come and drink Pale Rosé with me? I'll give you the address of where we are. You can just come and meet us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my own welcome meeting. Yes. So I'm going to go back to the rep days. Yeah, I'm going to go back to my rep days. Yeah. I'll get some like pieces of paper, pop them through people's doors. Yes. Like, did you arrive yesterday? If you did, welcome meeting up the top. And 10 would, you, would you like a friend? And I'll be like, hello, guys. Yeah, yeah this is me. Yeah. And First holiday with yeah. the husband. In two just days' time, I'm going to be just me and my husband, and I need a drinking partner. <laughs> Who's with me? Who's <laughs> with me? Because your husband doesn't drink, does no. he either? No. See, that, that would worry me. Yeah. If, if I was with somebody who didn't drink on holiday. Well, actually, even here, back home, that would worry me. Well, but on holiday, that yeah. would worry. Because I would think, well, what are we going to do of an evening? Listen, I... I'm, every, I'm, everyone's going to be like, yeah, you do. I actually don't drink a lot. I no, don't drink you don't, a lot. You don't, to be fair. I don't buy but, alcohol at the supermarket for my food. I just don't drink a lot. However... I think on holiday, on though... On holiday? Well, when 5pm hits, you've had a shower. Five? You've been in the sun. Midday, babe. What, what are you talking about? Oh, she's on holiday. No, 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 I don't do evening drinking on holiday. I do, do you not. May I drink through the day. I then... It's a little bit tipsy. So you go out for dinner. You fill up on your pasta. You have some wine. And then I'm like, right... I'm off oh, so bed. you do drink in the evening? No, I ha I'll have a wine. With dinner. I won't then, go out and drink right, in the There evening. is no better feeling than when you've been in the sun all day, you go in, you have a shower, you yeah. get on your like balcony or terrace in your towel, your hair's still wet from the shower, you have a bag of Lay's and, and a, a wine beer. or a beer or a limoncello yeah. or a vodka or a gin or whatever day. you want. That is like the one. If I went on holiday with someone and at midday, if I looked at them and went drink and they went no i'd be like sorry <laughs> why would you not start drinking at midday on holiday it's what's the rule. wrong with you it's the rule. but so what are you gonna do on holiday Dr well first this is where my mind's gone okay. okay first i'm like actually it's fine it's fine we have you know we're married been together eight years it's, it's gonna be fine do you know what i, then I, I thought, always think when <laughs> someone keeps going it's fine it's fine it's really it's not really fine. fine yeah it's so I, fine i thought Maybe I'll just be really healthy. Maybe I'll just paddleboard around and not drink and exercise and read and relax and chill out. And there's a lovely little massage place on the beach. I'm going to have massages every day. Uh, and I just thought, who am I? Who am I kidding? Day one, you might do that. Everyone has good intentions on day one. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym every night before dinner. Day one, it might happen. After that, nah. nah. nah well, nah, unless nah. I get up and exercise in the morning on holiday, it, it does not happen. Yeah. I don't know who <laughs> exercises in the afternoon afternoon on a holiday you are gonna be literally james is gonna be like oh it's in your day love where you been but i've been on the paddleboard yeah. again. i've never known you do so much paddleboarding do you know what i do <laughs> i've just thought about something right i'll get on the paddleboard i'll be like see you love just off, off paddleboarding for a couple of hours i'll paddleboard up the coast find myself a beach bar pull in there come back sozzled <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna. He'll just see me flat on a paddleboard, just like drifting. He'll be like, "Is that Laura?" The coast guard's gonna get called. They're gonna be like, "Drunk lady on a paddleboard again." Oh yeah, she was here yesterday and the day before. I'll float off to like Gibraltar. That's where they'll find me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So you know. Oh god. I, I we even bloody get there. Because these flight delays. Yeah, well, I think you're going to get there, but you're going to have to have a plan of action for yeah. sure. You're going to have to find a friend or just FaceTime me. If you're having a rosé, yeah. FaceTime me and I'll have one back here yeah. with you. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's what we'll do. 
All right. Yeah. Listen, mate, you're gonna have to turn this frown upside down. <laughs> you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to get in a better frame of mind for this. Holiday. It's even depressing me packing because she's <laughs> not packed the girls' stuff, and I'm like, I'm just mine. It's mine. Here we go. Then. All you need is your paddleboard stuff for I this don't holiday. Need to pack anyway. anything. That's all you need. Just, just put your um, what's it called, the wetsuit on. That's all you need because that's all you're gonna be doing. I can't wear a wetsuit. I didn't think that. Imagine if I took my yeah. wetsuit, they'd be like, what are you doing? You don't wear wetsuits abroad, do you? You can do. I can't. Yeah, of course. Why it's not? Too poor. Warm. It's quite nice because if you fall in the sea, like you said, it means that nothing's going to get you. Yeah, that's you know? true. Yeah, yeah. shark proof. I'd, I'd pack it. Right. Okay. Well, we'll f- we'll have a lovely I'm holiday. I'm not going yet. <laughs> have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be great. I'm all into autumn now. I want to get the candles out yeah. and light a fire. Oh God. Oh, I've got a story for you tomorrow, which I've forgotten to tell today. I'll okay. do it tomorrow. Back tomorrow. <laughs> 